House of Design Robot Studio tutorials. Today I want to show you uh, how to make one embodiment of a smart component that contains a mechanism and a and another smart component. So we're going to use some of the previous things that we've done by creating mechanisms, creating smart components with limit switches. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch those tutorials so that you can understand what we're doing. Okay, so let's begin. So we're just going to create an empty station. I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab a couple of those libraries that we actually had before. Smart component, actuator, two position. We had had that before. Uh, we showed how to make that. So if you go and get that, you can uh, start with me here. Uh, the library for a actuator as well. So we're going to use this pin actuator. I'm actually going to use this one here. This is the actual mechanism. And um, I'm going to use that. So, so now we have this pin actuator, which is a mechanism that just has a pin that goes up and down in it. We have this smart component. We can see the limit switch is off to the side. It's not set up yet. So we need to set it up. So if I wanted to use this, I would have to bring in this pin actuator mechanism. I'd have to actually come in and set all this up. So I want to show you how to make it super simple to be able to use this one over and over and over again. So I'm just going to hide that body of the actuator right now because I do have to come in and set up this smart component. So I'm going to come into the properties of it come in and select where I want my limit switches to be. So we're just going to make them there. I'm going to, again, this is all shown in another tutorial, but you can follow along here. I'm just setting up where the limit switches actually are. And the extend limit switch is knotted. So it's a, it's a setting up so that when it is off, it's actually giving us a positive signal. So that's how, that's how we've set that up. Um, makes it super easy to set up here. So basically we just have those uh, limit switches set up on this pin. We apply that and now we can come in. We can see that we have this smart component sitting here. If I ran this simulation, showed the signals, I would be able to come in um, and let's see here. So extend and it's not working. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we have to actually select the mechanism that we wanted to move. So there's the pin actuator. Okay, so we're going to apply that. We're going to play that now. And now my extend gives me my extend signal. The retract gives me my retract signal. So there it is. So it's all set up, ready to go. But that took a little while to be able to set up this one actuator. So one of the things that you're going to have to have to do is that if I actually came in and I wanted to move this actuator to some other spot and I grabbed a hold of it and moved it, you can see that the that the limit switches didn't follow it. So now I'd have to come in, move this to the right spot, come into the smart component, reset up my limit switches, uh, which is a total pain. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to undo that move is I'm going to come in and I'm going to attach the smart component. So right click, attach to, and I'm gonna attach it to the body of the, or the, the first link of this mechanism. Um, I'm not gonna update the position of it because I want it to be right there. So now you can see that if I play this, obviously it's still gonna work, but then I can come in and I can select it and I can move it to wherever I wanna move it and I can extend and retract it. So now it moves with it because it's attached to it. Okay, but if I wanted to put another one of these in here, uh, I couldn't do it. I'd have to do the exact same thing and move it all around. So that's what I want to show you today. So if we come back in and we create another smart component, and I'm going to name it pin actuator. Okay, so it's a smart component pin actuator. What I'm going to do is just drag these up into there. So now in that pin actuator down here, I now have that smart component and I can actually drag the mechanism down into it as well. So now I have pin actuator that has these components into it. So what we have to do though is we have to set up the signals for it. Because what you'll see now is if I go into, I'll just show it here, if I go into my simulation tab and I look at the IO simulator, 
there's no signal set up for pin actuator. And this smart component is buried inside this pin actuator and it doesn't have any of its signals exposed through this smart component to the station. So that's what we have to set up. So we're gonna edit this smart component, gonna go into the design and you're gonna see, here it is. Here's the extend retract signals, this uh, sensors coming out, but we have no IO attached to this to be able to expose it to the station. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create those four signals. So DI, uh, I can name them the exact same thing, extend, another one. DI retract. I'm going to come in and make a couple of outputs. DO extended. DO retracted. Okay, so now I just connect the wires up to each one of those. And then there they are. So now when I go over and I actually look at, I can close that all out and I come over and I actually look at the pin actuator. Now my signals over here are shown. So since my signals are shown, um, if I hit play on this, this messed up on me before, but we'll see here, but there it is. Yep. So now extend, retract, extend, retract. So now it is embodied in this one mechanism. Okay, so what I wanna do is, just so that I can make sure that I have it all set up how I want it to be, I'm gonna actually move this back to the zero, zero position. So I want the, I want the pin actuator to be moved back to zero. Okay, so now, truly right here, the zero, zero position is going to be at the bottom of that pin actuator. So now I can save that off, save that as a library. Let's just name it smart component pin actuator. How's that? So I'll go into my smart component pin actuator and I'm just gonna save it off as that. So here is the, here's the good part of it. Now, all that stuff that I had to do to set this, this pin actuator up is done super simple now by being able to come in, copy this pin actuator, and just, I can copy four different ones into there. And now I can just move them to wherever I wanna move them. And when I come in and I play the simulation, all I have to do is choose which one I wanna look at. So here's this one, signals all work, pin actuator two, signals all work, Pin actuator three, all the signals work. So that's a very easy way to be able to make a smart component that has multiple you know, mechanisms, other smart components built into it that you can use over and over and over again. So hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching and We'll continue on on the next one to where we can connect these up to a uh, IRC5 controller and show how we can control the inputs and outputs through the RapidGo.